Happy Halloween! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. Like, subscribe, all the things, and it's showtime synergy. If you didn't guess it, yes. Let me turn this off. I'm Jim from Jim and the Hologram. So let me let me let you get a look at this before we get cranking here, right? All right. Since I've been giving clues for a solid month now, so we got the hair. We got the earrings. Oh, unfortunately, only one works right now because this battery died and I cannot find a battery in town. Got the makeup. Got the dress. Just showed you that the other day. The dress. Make sure I don't knock anything over here. Okay, the belt. <laughs> the leggings from Amazon. They're not the best leggings in the world, but they will do. They will do. They sparkle. They shine. And then <laughs> I got the boots. Boop. There you are. Miss Jim. Boom. From Jim and the Holograms. Um, so, uh, I have been setting up my spooky vinyasas all day. Showing up in full costume. <laughs> uh, I've been setting up these guys behind me. This, this, this little ombre pumpkins. Um, I've been setting up. And my little cat. I've been setting him up as well at classes. Just to make it a little more spooky festive. And I've been bringing my Jim doll so people know. They're like, what is this? A lot of people think I'm Barbie, but I'm Jim. There's Jim. I put her in little boots because I didn't want her pumps to fall off. But anyways, um, there's Jim with her own boo bucket ready to go trick-or-treating with me. Look at that. Aren't you just so happy? We are so happy. And also, she has her own little backdrop as well because I'm absolutely... <laughs> OCD about these things. I've been setting this up as well as part of our um, little setup. I have these. I have two of these. I set them up at the top of the mat. I prop her up against one and then um, <laughs> so it's like a gym in the holograms um, mat. If you remember uh, the, uh, I don't know if you can see it back here, but the uh, boxes had little, little um, what do you call it? Um, palm trees on it. So <laughs> I thought that fit in. And it gave me more lights when I turned the lights down low and we start to practice. In the rooms that I can get the lights low, some rooms you can't like adjust the lights very well. But there we are. Uh -huh. I am Jim from Jim and the Holograms. I love these little boot buckets. Anyway, so there you are. Um, <laughs> what else is happening? Oh yes, it's supposed to be a fall vlog today. Just not only Halloween, but it's our very special Halloween um, vlog from, uh, for our fall vlogging. And I did make a coffee today. Um, we started a new pack, a whole new pack of coffees. We're starting the Aldi one, the flavors of fall Barissimo coffee collection from the all die. Um, you die, I die. We all die at all die. That's my Halloween version of their name. So there you go. Um, so there are the uh that's the back does it even tell you the no it doesn't tell you on the back but there's all the little flavors if you want to take a quick pause and take a look there we go all right so <laughs> so today's coffee that i brewed up is salted caramel coffee i really feel like i have like sugar overload right now it's so, like my brain is trying to like function and it's just like overloading with all the Halloween sugars that, that I've been consuming today. But um, today is salted caramel coffee. And there you have it. Boom. And because it is Halloween, <laughs> even though I'm Jim, we're going to have some witch's brew. I put a little milk in it today. Salted caramel. Tastes okay. Get the, the salted caramel. Mm-hmm. Need some sugar. <laughs> she says, as she just said, she's ODing on sugar today. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Ha-ha. Jim's got a microphone. Um, people have been asking about these earrings. So, um, I did buy these. These are the, the official Jim and the Hologram Light Up Synergy Earrings and Illustrated Book. Comes with a little comic book inside. So, there you are. Ha-ha. Um, the sad thing is, like I said, the batteries you... It's impossible to find these batteries in town. I think they're a CR927, I think. Hope I said that right because Lord knows I've been looking at it enough the past few days because, you know, 
when I went to go order them. See, I'm just going to hold my gym microphone. Um, when I went to go order them, it said delivery date Halloween, and my postman delivers in the evening. Like, the Amazon deliveries come in the evening. So, it would have been too, too late for the batteries for the Halloween. So, there we are. And this is actually the microphone that came with this kit. This is the kit. They stopped making this, and I wish they would bring it back. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. There you are. That is it. I got a medium. This is 8 to 10. I'm a Lululemon 6, so uh, keep that in mind. These, This says medium. I'm usually a small, so these are size smaller than um, normal. I read the reviews, and I saw that, that on the reviews online they said the same thing. So I was like, okay, I should be safe picking up this medium. So yeah, there we are. It's the official gym costume. Um, there was another one they came out with a few years ago. I think it was for, I don't know if it was for Party City or Spirit Halloween, one of those companies. Um, but it didn't have the silver belt. It was more like Hollywood Gym. She had the pink belt instead of the silver. And it did come with, I think it did come with a um, pink microphone. This one, unfortunately, they did not look at the doll. The doll originally came with a pink microphone. This is just a black microphone that just says Made in China. All right, so there we are. That's my only bone to pick about this costume. This is not the correct color for the microphone. Otherwise, I'm quite pleased with this thing. And it's quite easy to move in. And with the leggings, the sparkle leggings, which I got off of Amazon, um, I can teach my yoga classes in this. So that was a bonus to that, yes. Um, so, and the shoes, the shoes that I got off of Amazon, they match this pretty doggone well. So, uh, yes, yes, we are gym today teaching teaching my spooky vinyasa 24 i will say like standing on my head and being on the mat i've wallered around a lot so i've got jim bedhead with this with this wig so um yes the wig that um i don't know if this is this isn't the official jim wig that that you bought separately from this but obviously this was like an 80s wig this is what they threw in with it i did not go with this one so um i'm going with this one and i did spray some pink in it um to make it more pink so there you have it that's my costume and i'm sticking with it what else is happening what else is happening oh i was going to show you some old uh two old um vintage 80s halloween toys that i have um this is so so i got a smurf i got a halloween smurf my sister picked this up um he needs to be cleaned up a little bit but that's okay um, you get the point. He got his little, he got his little jack o' lantern. So he's over here on my shelf, and then this is this is mine. This is this is mine. This is called Smooshies. I think I think Hallmark put them out like eighty eight or eighty nine, and I have the bat and the haunted tree, and they were called Smooshies because you know you take it out, it's like a little plushy, and then um you what does this tag say? What does this say? Nineteen eighty nine Hallmark Cards Inc. Made in China. So yeah, smooshies. So it's a little plushy. And then you you smoosh it up and stick it in here. I had one other little smooshy. It was like a little um a little goldfish with like a like a little um little fish bowl that you shove it in. Um I think I've lost, I've got the fish. I cannot locate my fish bowl, so we're still on the hunt for that. But there we are. My other little Halloween retro eighties. Haha. <laughs> A uh, smushy bat with haunted tree. So those are my two little, my little, my little show and tells today. Um, there we have it. Um, what else is happening? Um, I said I was teaching lots of classes today and full gym regalia, and I am decorating with with these lights here and my palm tree because Jim's got to have a good palm tree. And I thought that, like, it's LED, but it looks like a little neon light. I thought that would 80s it up a little bit. So that was super fun. Um, my sister's already had one of these. I shared these with her. Um, Aldi. You know, I got to show an Aldi fine. I picked these up. The Bake Shop um, Pumpkin Spice Muffins. So since I'm having coffee, I might as well have a muffin, right? I know yesterday I didn't want to do the... Uh, um, the cupcakes that I was sitting in the car. That's honestly why. I didn't want to like make a mess in my car. But that's just me. Alright, so here we are. Here are the muffins. Oh, they're nice and soft. At least they're not little bricks, you know. Not little bricks. Let's see. My sister said these were good, so I'm going to take her word for it as I bite into this thing. Yeah, watch the lipstick and the makeup, right? Mmm. 
These are delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you're at an Aldi, stop by. Grab a pumpkin spice muffin. These are these be great for little breakfasts. Let's see what the nutritional facts are on this, because I'm sure it's going to make me really sad. She says, as she tries, 380 cal calories per muffin. Um, let's we pour the label back. There, there it is. And you can see all the ingredients. It just doesn't look good. Don't, don't. If it's a Halloween treat, treat yourself, but don't eat this every day. And you can have one the morning after Halloween. It's your pumpkin spice muffin. You know, keep you from having a um, Halloween hangover. There you are. Pumpkin spice muffins from Aldi. And my witch's brew cup from Aldi. Drink it. Boy, it's an Aldi Halloween. All die. You die, I die. We all die at all die. Um, salted caramel coffee. A little milk in it. Drinking out of my um, witch's brew mug. Eat my pumpkin spice muffins. That thing is delicious. I do recommend those. Um, sometimes you pick up stuff at all. You're like, mm, like in the little bake shop stuff. Um, I will say the uh, the cupcakes, they're okay. I've had better cupcakes, but I am a cupcake connoisseur. Um, but anyways, uh, what else is happening? Um, so yeah, you know what I should do? I should sit here and count what I've gotten at Aldi. So I got the earrings, my little cat earrings. I think I showed those off. Um, so today we have the salted caramel coffee from Aldi. We have my mug from Aldi. We have my pumpkin spice muffins from Aldi. Um, <laughs> my little tree, which this came out a couple of years ago, from Aldi. My little ombre pumpkins, those came from Target. It's either Aldi or Target with me. It's, it's, a, it's a real problem. It's a real problem. And the cats are meowing. They know today is their day. It's a cat holiday, Halloween. Um, what did I watch last night? Okay, this is probably going to be a let, let down for you. Um, <laughs> so last night, um, I watched, I watched, uh, <laughs> if you watch this channel, you know, you know, I love some Adam Ant, right? Well, I treated myself to an Adam Ant movie that, 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 that you can watch at Halloween called Love Bites. The original title, I think, was The Reluctant Vampire. And, um, <laughs> he plays, like, a 300-year-old vampire that's, like, in the basement. Like, there's, like, a crypt built into the house that they don't know about. And this storm happens, and this thing falls on, like, hits up against his coffin. He wakes up, lets himself out, and, um, while he's waking up, the storm's going on, the lady that lives there comes home with her boyfriend, who she's not really into, and he keeps proposing to her, but he's a complete wiener. L7 weenie. Um, and uh, he keeps proposing. She keeps saying no. And then she says something about, oh, wow, I think that lightning struck her really, really close. And he says, um, will you marry me? She's like, yes, yes. And she's talking about the lightning. She's talking about something else. It could be written a lot better. Um, I think, if I remember correctly... One of the writers, the, the writer of this was one of the writers on Dark Shadows. So if you're into Dark Shadows, um, you can totally um, watch this and kind of see some Dark Shadowness, like some of the corniness of it. Um, but, um, and you can even see like, uh, some people say like the way they styled Adam Ant's hair as the vampire. People are like, yeah, it was like a little spin on Barnabas there. He's got like his little little bangs like this um so uh yeah it's very cheesy it came out in 93 so think early 90s direct to video corn and i enjoy every minute of it um i do i do wish that um that it had been written better because i i look at see i always watch a movie and look at like the lost potential there i also think maybe like i wish they'd done this in the 80s like when he was you know at the height of like ant mania and stuff I think, you know, because, you know, Prince had Purple Rain. Madonna had Desperately Seeking Susan. Cindy Lauper did Vibes, right? So, um, you know, I think I would have really liked to see him in this, like, maybe, like, 80, 83, 85, 86 at the latest. And I think they should have taken this a little more seriously. I think get get a better script 
and take this more seriously and make a serious vampire movie with adamant i think that would be really cool and also they had a missed opportunity because the music in it it sounds like midi music um like the instrumental stuff and then there's pop songs in it but none of them are his songs and i'm thinking what a missed opportunity right that's what i'm saying like let's 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 do this back like 80 let's let's do this release this movie in 1983 84 85 at the latest right so so he could have done like the soundtrack um and then like been the vampire but like be like much of a darker vampire you know um it kind of have like a lost boys feel fright night feel um if you wanted to have a little bit of comedy in it, fright night you know where it's still dark you still take it seriously and then have um his music in the soundtrack so this is what i want from this movie when i watch it I think it makes me sad because I want to see him play a serious vampire because basically the story is he wakes up, he comes back, um, he befriends this lady and then eventually they, they, they become an item um, and he wants to become human again. That's why it's like reluctant vampire, love bites. And um, he, he says there's a way you can become human again. This is the part that, that they totally lose me on. Is that he has to start eating food again. And then eventually his digestive system starts up again. And then he slowly becomes human. And it takes a period of time. So he's eating pizza and all this stuff. It shows all this. And he's like, like, like rolfing everywhere at first when he's trying to eat the, the food. Um, and he's still trying to drink blood here and there. Um, her fian well, he's not really her fiance because she really didn't say yes. He, he just assumed she did. Um, um, but they break up and, uh, because she has to get with Adam and the vampire, right? So, um, <laughs> they're together and then he comes in and somehow he, Adam Ant's looking for, for a job because he's like, hey, if I'm going to be a person, you know, a human being, I need to get a job. And so he gets a job with the ex-boyfriend's insurance company because he knew about some Benjamin Franklin insurance fact because he lived through it, you see. That's how he knew, because he lived through it. And so the ex-boyfriend hires him, and then he figures out, like, some money that, that's been, like, slowly being moved around. It's, like, over a million dollars. So he figures it out and brings it together, and the guy's like, I'm impressed. You're going to make you vice president. You're going to get a company car. And then um, Adamant figures out a way, that was the name Zachary, but um, he figures out a way to um, increase profits over 100 years. So the board is like, hey, we're going to get rid of the ex-boyfriend as the president. You're now in charge. And as he's taking over and becoming a corporate yuppie, he's starting to ignore his relationship with the old chick at home and she's not happy and then um she's about ready to break up with him and then he comes home um also at the same time because the ex-boyfriend has been suspicious about adam ant's character he hires a private investigator named van helsing oh isn't this you know isn't this convenient and he's trying to find out information that didn't really go anywhere i think he figures out he's a vampire but he can't convince anyone and then the boyfriend runs into you find out adamant had a girlfriend the one that turned him into a vampire that he was in love with but she dumped him and that's why he went to sleep for three you know a couple about a hundred he was asleep for a hundred years that's right 100 years because he was depressed she broke up with him and didn't want him anymore well she pops back up and then um the ex-boyfriend finds out that they are vampires and then the ex-boyfriend and adamant's ex-girlfriend team up because she's going to turn him back into a vampire because no 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 he's not going to become a human um and then uh mayhem ensues and i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there because uh, if you want to watch this doozy of a 1993 direct to video cheesy movie watch it it's it's enjoyable if you enjoy that kind of thing and it's it's very it's a very cheesy little vampire movie a little romance cheesy vampire movie um from one of the writers of dark shadows um so there you have it it's called love bites it was also called the reluctant vampire starring adam ant and there's also like a cameo from um judy tenuti she passed away um recently but um she plays um sergeant farfaloni and it's really it just sticks out like a sore thumb it's like oh let's just get her in here and she's dressed up like her police but she still has like the big flower and she's answering phone calls 
it's ridiculous. Utterly, there's like two scenes where she answers a police call um, about the vampire. <laughs> it's really, really cheesy. And the ex-girlfriend, the vampire girlfriend that turned Adamant into a vampire initially that he was with for a few hundred years before they broke up, um, is played by Michelle Forbes. She plays Nerissa, the, the, the vampire ex-girlfriend. And she was in a season of um, True Blood. So, yes, the, the one where she's like the goddess, the Greek goddess one, um, that's her. So, she's in this as well. So, um, lots of, like, little, little, little things to look for. And it's also kind of fun to see, like, the early 90s, the cheese of the early 90s. Um, but I still wish, I still wish that this had been made, like, in the 80s. And he's like, he, and he does the vampire thing. But it's still, it's his soundtrack, you know, songs not all of his soundtrack, but you know, kind of like how they used to do. They'd always have a few songs. You know, like Desperately Seeking Susan had Into the Groove. Vibes had um, There's a Hole in My Heart That Goes All the Way to China. And of course, Purple Rain, all prints all the time. Um, so I think that would have been more interesting to have done a serious, maybe a little bit of humor in there, um, vampire movie with Adam Ant and have some of his songs in it rather than this MIDI music and the pop songs, those early 90s pop songs that are wedged in there like at the party and stuff. So there you have it. Love Bites for Lucky Vampire. That's what I watched last night. Um, the night before Halloween. I'll try to watch something tonight and let you know what it is. But tomorrow, oh, tomorrow is my travel day. I'm going to go see Cindy Lauper tomorrow. I'm super excited. Still trying to decide what I'm going to wear. People are like, just wear this wig. Wear this wig. I'm like, oh, okay. I did get a cheesy, cheesy Cindy Lauper wig, but I don't know if I'm going to wear it or if I just have my normal hair. I don't know yet. I don't know. I kind of want to look 80s. I kind of like like this isn't 80s enough. But um, but yes, that's that's where I am. So what did we learn today? I, I could talk forever about Adam Ant and anything Adam Ant's in because I, I love some Adam Ant. I mean, unfortunately, his UK tour got canceled because he was sick is what they're saying. Um, so if you're in the UK, I'm sorry. I'm glad I didn't plan to go over there. I had, a year ago before he announced the U.S. tour, I was like, "Ooh, maybe I could take a trip to the U.K. and see him there." But then he had, he he announced a U.S. tour, and I was like, "I'm not going to stay here, <laughs> save on some travel costs." <laughs> So there we have it. So what did we learn today? I could talk forever about Adam Ant. Obviously, I just went off on another tangent. I watched The Reluctant Vampire slash Love Bites last night. Um, and I talked forever about that. I'm drinking out of my Witch's Brew mug. It's from the Aldi because I get everything from Aldi and Target. And our coffee is salted caramel. Let's take another little taste, shall we? Delicious. And um, <laughs> once this video's over, I'm stuffing my face with this pumpkin spice muffin from Aldi. So <laughs> you got three things from Aldi. Three. Um, you got a mug, coffee, and pumpkin spice muffins. And then yesterday I did show off the, uh, the cupcakes, the little mini cupcakes. I also showed you some vintage Halloween toys. I got the, uh, the Smurf with the jack-o'-lantern, a smooshy bat, inside of a haunted Halloween tree, 1989. And, uh, of course, <laughs> my gym costume, my gym earrings, my backdrop of the, of the palm trees, um, my, um, pumpkins, my, my cat light, all that's being set up today at yoga classes, my spooky vinyasas, my gym doll. So my twin is there holding her boo bucket. There she is. What do you think? Yeah. Mm hmm All right. So, I have one more look. One more look. I wish I had a little wider shot, but, but, um, I don't. So, we got the wig, the earrings, the makeup, the dress. Oh, goodness. The belt. I showed all this. See, this is what's so nice. See, it's like yoga leggings. Um, the belt, which is Velcroed on. The yoga leggings. I will say the only thing, I, and it was in the reviews, it said people were saying they're kind of baggy. Um, <laughs> but it does the job. They're sparkly glitter. Look at that. Oh, how 80s can you get? And matching boots. Matching boots. All right, so there you are. <laughs> oh, all of the 
the excitement of Halloween and we are here. So I hope you're enjoying your Halloween. I hope you've got an awesome costume. Hope you're eating lots of treats and goodies. Hope you, if you've got the um, fall collection of coffees, I hope you're enjoying a cup of that today. Um, watch lots of movies, whether they're scary or silly Halloween movies, because I tend to go more towards the silly, unless it's Hellraiser. I do like the first couple of Hellraiser movies. Um, so yeah. Uh, so, or you're listening to some, um, Halloween jams, because, uh, I've got my Halloween jams. Yes, I do. What are we listening to? We are listening to Goodbye Horses from Silence of the Lambs. Um, we did Monster Mash, um... Magic from Ghostbusters is on my Spotify. I've got a Halloween playlist going that I that I ride around and listen to. Um, what else am I listening to? Hammer Horror by uh, Kate Bush. Um, what else? What else? What else? My brain. Magic Dance by David Bowie. Oh, the, all of the Halloween is there. Halloween by Susie Sue and the Banshees. Um, the Surfing Dead by the Cramps. Um, all of the classics, um, Werewolves of London, Season of the Witch, um, Moon Dance, Witchcraft, all of the classics. So there we are. <laughs> Just a quick rundown of what I'm listening to today. And yes, Thriller is on there as well. Somebody's watching me. Who can it be now? All the things. All right, so I better wind this down because the sugar has taken over my brain today. And so I'm a little, I'm a little, wah! So like subscribe all the things happy halloween have fun this evening watch all the movies listen to all the halloween music and i'll see you tomorrow because we're heading to cindy lopper tomorrow i'm so excited and i'll see you then bye